Hi guys, this is Shikha and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be sharing one of my most favorite vegetable soup recipe with you. This is one of my favorite and I made this recipe last fall almost every other week. So I thought of sharing the recipe with you guys because a fall is arriving and everybody craves some home cooked warm comfort food. And this is definitely one of them. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So these are all the ingredients which we will be using today. Super simple and it's going to be so delicious and nutritious at the same time. So we'll be using one leek, little bit of coriander leaves. So if you do not like the flavor of this one, you can completely skip this one. Few cauliflower florets, few carrots, um, celery, also, we'll be using few ginger and garlic and ginger is really good to have in the colder season. So yeah, next up we'll be using few turnips, juice of one lemon, a green pepper, few mushrooms, onion and few potatoes. So these are all the veggies which we are going to use, but feel free to skip on any veggies or add any veggies of your choice. I have this, so I'm using this one. Sweet potato and parsnips also goes really well in this soup. I got parsnip yesterday, but I don't know where it is now. I think I might have left in the store. I don't know. I can't find it. So I'm just making things work and using all the veggies which I have. Now moving on to the spices, we'll be using parsley flakes. If you have fresh parsley, nothing better than that. Use that. We'll be using two uh, star anise, little bit of cinnamon, turmeric, salt, pepper, and this is a vegetable stock cube and this one is from Maggie. Uh, if you want to use liquid stock, you can totally do that or you can also find powdered vegetable stock, but I have this one. So I'm using this and I leave the link to this one also in my description box if you guys want to check. Okay, so I'll go ahead and chop these veggies and I'll see you then. We are done. So I have chopped up all the veggies and now on to cooking. So I have all my ingredients over here and I have a big pot over here and I'm going to put a little bit of coconut oil and saute all the ingredients. Okay, so first up I'm going to add a tablespoon or so of coconut oil in the pan. I'm going to add the star anise. Let it be there for a few seconds so that all the nice aroma comes in. Next up, I'm going to add the ginger and garlic. Stir it. Then I'm going to add the onions and just saute for a little bit. Going to add the leeks. For this recipe, you don't have to fully cook the veggies. Um, just sauteing would work because we'll be simmering all the vegetables for quite a long time um, in the liquid. So it will get all nice and cooked. Next up, I'm going to take potatoes. Then adding carrots. mushrooms cauliflower so i have chopped the cauliflower really really well and then i'm going to add the rest of the veggies and going to saute it for a few more minutes okay so i'm just realizing that this pan is a little bit actually too small so i'm going to change it into a big pot and i'll see you then Okay, so now I have transferred the veggies from here to here. Now it's much better. It has lots of space. Next up, I'm going to add turmeric, cinnamon, just a little, fresh pepper. And lastly, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and I'm just going to mix it. And then I'm going to add the vegetable stock. And then I'm going to add hot water. I forgot about the parsley. So I'm adding now. 
just mixing it. This smells so good. Now I'm going to cover the lid and let it simmer for 5 to 6 hours. So we are all done. So I have covered the lid and I let it simmer for around 5 to 6 hours. The more the better but yeah 6 hours work and then I'll show you the final result. Okay so this one is done and I topped it with few coriander leaves, uh, black pepper, little bit of lemon juice and yeah that's done. All right, you guys, so that was all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you did, so don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. And check my Instagram out because there also I share lots of 30 second recipes. So I hope you enjoy them. And let me know if you want to see videos like this in future in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, bye.